Welcome to Overlay's RC. In this video, we're gonna be checking out these new Mias 1.2 inch wheels and tires. I've already noticed a couple things that I'm not quite sure about with these wheels. So let's hop on over to the garage, take a closer look at them and see what's really going on. So these are relatively new and they're the 1.2 inch wheel and tire combination from Mias. Here's a regular one inch wheel and tire combo. And as you can see, this wheel is quite a bit bigger. It's pretty sweet. On an SCX24, I think one inch wheels are pretty much perfect for the scale. But on a TRX4M, I think that the uh, 1.2 inch wheels would look pretty freaking nice. So these are a pretty nice looking wheel and they also come with a nice tire. I have the same tread pattern made by uh, Injora on my Banff Bronco and it's a great tread pattern and a great tire. They work really well on my Bronco. These mount up with six screws in the back here. And it looks like you also put six screws in here, you know, as fake lug nuts, but they're just for looks. These have a nice soft foam inside as well. The only thing I'm concerned about is how deeply recessed they are. And why do they come with sleeve nuts? So let's put the rest of the screws in this one and try to mount them up on that TRX4M there and see what happens. All right, so right off, we're running into trouble here. On the back, I tried to use one of the sleeve nuts and the sleeve nut hits, the sleeve nut bottoms out before the wheel is tightened down, as you can see there. So on the front, I said, okay, let's uh, try a regular nut. Well, because the hole's recessed, a regular driver hits the uh, sides of the hole and can't tighten the nut all the way down. So then I said, okay, you know, I'll use one of these little T-wrenches and I tightened it all the way down and look, oh, we're stuck. So tighten it all the way down, runs it into the knuckle and the steering linkage, and it's bound up and won't turn. I don't think it said anything in the description, I'll have to check, but you're definitely gonna need some hex extenders to get these wheels on. They do look pretty good, but they're definitely gonna need some uh, hex extenders to make them work. <laughs> Not sure why they'd give you sleeve nuts with no hex extenders. So out of the bag, these are a fail. You're gonna need hex extenders and that kind of sucks. That adds another, you know, 10, 15 bucks to the price of these. Most of the MES stuff I have is pretty sweet, but these wheels are a fail and I'm not gonna try to make them work or put hex extenders on them. In my opinion, they should already have a negative offset. So I don't like them. <laughs> Plus a negative offset would give them this nice dish look. Whereas this flat look, it just isn't as nice, I don't think. I'm sending these back. So these kind of suck, but hey, I'll put the link in the description if you want to check them out for yourself. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. If you found anything in this video useful or helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button. Then smash the bell to get notified of my future videos. And remember, when you think RC, think O Brothers RC. Thanks for watching.